So today we have an interesting question. Can hearing aids help reduce tinnitus? Today's answer comes from the same German study I reviewed last time. In addition, we'll include an unpublished study out of China and a couple other studies, one from the UK and one from the US. First, the German study. Tinnitus is louder for some people than others and louder at different times for any one individual. We know this. In this German study, tinnitus was determined to usually be perceived at 10 to 15 decibels above what people normally hear outside. So basically, if you don't understand decibels, that's the volume for the most part. So that means people hear their tinnitus louder than normal outside sounds. How much is 10 to 15 decibels? So a conversation in a restaurant or office is about 60, 60 decibels, whereas a whisper or rustling of leaves is about 20 decibels. And breathing is barely audible at about 10 decibels. So for an outside sound to be perceived as a higher volume than the tinnitus, it usually needs to be 10 to 15 decibels louder than it is naturally. So about 75 compared to about 60 normally. Well, that's not extraordinary. So what if you have tinnitus and impaired hearing? You hear less outside volume. So in cases of impaired hearing, these researchers calculated that the tinnitus contributes about 90% of the hearing reality. That's a lot. As a visual, the researchers drew a picture. Let's say you're trying to hold a conversation, listen to the TV, or compose music. Around the ear, the outside oval represents the total sound heard. The dark oval represents the tinnitus you hear. The picture on the left represents someone with tinnitus, significant hearing loss, and no hearing aid. And that's debilitating. The picture on the right represents someone with tinnitus, significant hearing loss, and wearing a hearing aid. The total sound heard has now increased dramatically in best case scenarios. The hearing aid can reduce the perception of tinnitus dramatically by lowering the percentage of the tinnitus in relationship to the outside um, sound, the entire sound that's heard. Now, let's follow that up with an unpublished study out of China. In this study, 48 people with long-term bilateral tinnitus used hearing aids for two years, while 10 people formed the control with long-term bilateral tinnitus and they did not use hearing aids for two years. As a qualifier, I just want to be clear, this was a survey, but that alone doesn't make it unreliable. The results, 87.5% showed improvement in how much tinnitus interfered with their whole life. Wow, that's pretty good. In fact, 47% said they were cured, meaning that the tinnitus symptoms disappeared. Of course, these results would need to be duplicated, but that is encouraging. Okay, okay, I can't leave it there. To bring some perspective, I had to include two other studies that were actually published, but again, just surveys. In a UK study of, uh, in 2016 of 92 people with hearing loss, asked by questionnaire how effective they thought hearing aids were in reducing their tinnitus sound and suffering. 35% said they were very effective and another 30 thought they were effective, but not very effective. From the ATA website, the American Tinnitus Association, in a 2007 survey of hearing health professionals, of hearing health professionals, respondents self-reported that roughly 60% of their tinnitus patients experienced at least some relief when wearing hearing aids, and about 22% found significant relief. So, can we use what can we use now from this study? Well, it makes good sense um, that wearing a hearing aid can help some people, and it reduces their awareness of tinnitus in people who have hearing loss. Um, and in this study showed that, um, that it worked. So you should, you be, should you be evaluated? Well, I think so, um, to see if hearing aids will help you. And if you have hearing loss, uh, hearing aids may be helpful. So what about future applications? Hearing aids are becoming more fancy, smaller, and often less expensive. For example, a brand new upstart just successful on Kickstarter is developing a database of the world's first human ear sizing standard. Their goal is to get hearing aid prices down to under $200. Another company called Odecon has a hearing aid with an app that allows you to connect to your smartphone and listen to your TV and music directly through your hearing aid. Well, that's pretty cool. 
So do you see any future applications? Think about things that aren't widely available, or perhaps some that are that just people don't know about. Particularly ones that could come from this research we've just gone over. Have you tried hearing aids for your tinnitus? If you did, how long and how did it work? If not, if you haven't tried hearing aids, um, then why not? And if you did try them and they didn't work, why do you think they didn't work? So I'd like to know your thoughts. Please leave a message or a comment below. Request a review of a particular research study. And stay connected to the latest developments in tinnitus research and therapies. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and receive notifications of updates by also subscribing to our newsletter at tinnitusenergy.com. Thanks. Have a great day.